This book is called Farming by Gail Gibbons. Most of the books that we've read so far are fiction books. They're stories that people made up from their imagination. This book and the next couple of books we're going to read are called nonfiction. That means that they're not made up. They're about true things and they have lots of facts in them. And so we're going to start our learning about farms and we're going to read this book that has lots of really interesting facts about farming. And so when you're listening, start thinking about things that maybe you already know and think about things that are new to you as you're reading or listening. Farms are where vegetables, fruits, and grains are grown and farm animals are raised. Some farms are small and others are big. Most farms are owned by families. They're busy places throughout the year. Spring on the farm. Look at all the different places. There's the farmhouse and the temperature climbs on the porch thermometer in the spring. Spring plowers poke through the ground. There's the barn, that's the red building, and the tall, narrow building next to it, that's called the silo. And next to that is the chicken house. That's where baby chicks are brought in the spring, to the chicken house. You can see geese flying north up in the sky, and you can see that the green leaves begin to appear on the branches, and the days get longer in the spring. Then way in the back there by the trees is the machine shed. That's where they keep the tools and the machines that they use on the, pot, on the farm. Uh, the barn is where the baby lambs are and the other animals are kept. And that yellow building in the front, that's the farm stand. It's not open yet, but that's where the, the farmers would sell their, their produce or their fruits and vegetables that they grow. And you can see that in the spring, the ice breaks up on the farm pond. You can also see that in the spring, a chipmunk creeps out from its old winter home. New grass begins to appear. There's a small patch of leftover snow melting in the pasture, and the first robin is back. And way in the back is the sugar house. That's where they make maple syrup. They tap the trees to get the sap, and they boil it in the sugar house until it becomes thicker, like the syrup you might put on your pancakes or waffles. In the spring, some outside chores might be putting the horses and cows out to pasture, planting a vegetable garden. The maple syrup season has just ended, so they're cleaning up. They're putting their buckets away. That's what they attach to the trees to collect the sap. And water is lugged to the chicken house because, you know, the chickens need to drink. The farmers use their machines and they fertilize the fields. See, there's a fertilizer spreader. That's putting some, uh, maybe some, some farms use manure, some use some chemicals to make the plants, the ground richer so the plants can grow. And they plow it. There's a plow there. The plow turns over the soil. Harrowed, so the harrowing makes the ground smooth. And planted, the planter plants the seeds. So there's four different machines that they pull behind their tractor. There are some inside chores in the spring too. The stalls for the animals always need to be cleaned. That's some fresh hay. And the new baby chicks need constant care. Spring br brings new farm babies and the calves are milked in the morning and in the evening. Do You see that machine attached to the cow's udder? That's a milking machine that takes the milk out of the cow's udder and it brings it into a big tank where all the milk is stored and then a truck comes and picks up the milk. Summer on the farm has some beehives. Bees collect nectar from flowers to make money, but they also help pollinate. There's a small garden in the growing in the vegetables. There's blooming flowers. You can go swimming in the pond and it gets a lot hotter. The baby animals are bigger now. The cows munch on grass and the hay grows tall, and the corn grows tall. Some outside chores are uh, some vegetables in the garden are gathered, and honey is collected. The man is wearing a beekeeper suit. He, he's protected so that the bees don't sting him. But those are um, the, where the bees store their honey, and you take it out, and you, the screen's out, and you can get the honey out. Here's that tractor again. 
It's used to mow the hay. The mower cuts the hay. And they use the hay to, for the animal bedding and for food. It's tedded. The tedder spreads the hay to dry. Raked. The raker puts the hay in rows. And then the baler bales the hay. Sometimes you see big circle bales of hay too. Depends on the kind of machine the farmers have. In summer, some inside chores are vegetables are canned and frozen. Eggs are collected each day of the year. And a vet gives the calf a checkup. A calf is a baby cow. The cows are milked twice a day, every day of the year, and the hay is put in the hayloft. Now it's fall on the farm. The days become shorter and the big pumpkins are round. The geese fly south now and the leaves turn gold and orange. Right now, I think it's, it's fall because the leaves are changing and I see the geese flying south. And look, they're selling some produce at the, at the yellow farm stand down below. The apples are red. The corn is very tall. It gets cooler outside and soon there'll be a frost. And the ba farm babies are big now. Some outside chores in the fall or after morning chores, it's time to go to school. The eggs are packed for delivery. And at the end of the growing season, all fruits and vegetables are harvested. That tractor's busy again. Now it's attached to a harvester. The harvester helps, corn, helps harvest the cornfields. And the silo is filled with chopped corn. The corn and hay will feed the animals through the winter. The hayloft is packed solid. The inside chores in the fall involve putting bushels of apple at the farm stand and selling some of the canned food that they've made. Some animals are going to market to be sold and the cow's milk is sold to a dairy throughout the year. Winter on the farm is quieter. The days are short and there are footprints that still lead to the barn to take care of the animals and still lead to the chicken house to take care of the chickens. And there's ice on the pond. And look, there's someone skating. It's snowing. It's time to go sledding. It's very quiet. It's cold and the branches are bare. Some outside chores on the farm in the winter is plowing the road and carrying water to the chicken house because the chickens still need to drink. Some inside chores on the farm is farm machinery is repaired and cleaned. The cows are still milked every day, twice a day. There's plenty of hay and grain to eat, and the animals are inside for the cold winter. Last summer's vegetables simmer in the pot, and bookkeeping and plans for next year's crops are worked on. In winter, everyone goes to bed early, and soon spring will come again. There, most farms are specialized. They produce one or two main crops or kind of farm animals. Here are some different kinds of farms that there are, although there are more than just this. Dairy farms. Dairy farms raise dairy cows for their milk. The milk is sold to dairies where it's processed and packaged. Egg and poultry farms. Egg farms ra lay, raise chicken to lay eggs. Poultry farms raise chickens for their meat. And sometimes poultry farms focus on turkeys too. Grain farms. Grain farms grow grain for making bread and cereals and other foods. Some grains are grown for animals too. Fruit farms. Fruit farms grow apples, peaches, oranges, and other fruits for people to eat. They're often called orchards. And finally, vegetable farms. Vegetable farms grow beans, lettuce, carrots, and other vegetables. They're sent to markets and stores to be sold. Cattle farms and ranches. Beef cattle, pigs, and other animals are raised for their meat. And that's the end of the book. Go to Seesaw to see what the activity is you need to do next.